hello there and I certainly hope you're well. Um, well, as, as it still stands, I'm still here at home um, recovering from major surgery. I think I've probably got about two, maybe four weeks to go before I'm at 100% again. So obviously I'm spending my time wisely, hopefully, by doing these videos to populate our social media with images and videos. Now this particular prayer video is one we'll be sharing on our personal social media, but also sharing it here in the Tribulation Soldier comms and our YouTube channel, just to really get that all populated up, you know. So I certainly hope you enjoy. And of course, I realise that there'll be very few views, um, you know, on these new channels at the moment. But you know, when it comes to prayer, it doesn't make a difference if you sit in, the, sit in with this prayer tomorrow or you sit in with it in six months. It makes no difference. God will, you know, touch you through it. I've got no doubt about that. And it's certainly not from my own abilities. It's just knowing God and knowing the type of God that we serve, you know. But yeah, this, this was something I really wanted to have as part of um, the Tribulation Soldier comms. On a Monday, we have this Monday prayer. Tuesday, it'll be teaching. Wednesday, it'll be the playlist. And on Thursday, a real sort of proper sermon, you know. Um, so I'm just getting used to all this. I'm getting used to this little schedule. And, um, you know, for those of you in the personal social media, you know, thank you so much for your sort of feedback and, you know, your comments and stuff. You know, I always love to take that on board just to improve things that bit more and, you know, whatnot. But yeah, I mean, at the moment, I am really am at home, you know, and, um, you know, just here at the house. Um, so hopefully these prayers in the future will maybe do some in the local church, right in the countryside, you know, whatever. But, you know, at the moment we're in February. It's quite cold in Scotland. It's actually quite mild just now, though. Um, so I might head out and do a bit of a, a motorbike vlog and tours and stuff that we do on our other social media channels. But this prayer is very, very important to me, and it's something that... I dearly want to have as part of the the ministry and i believe that to be you know god's will as well and the idea is to bless you guys that's all it's there for us is to bless you guys you know and and i just certainly hope it does I, I just dearly hope that it does you know and i think that as the weeks go on that things will improve even more and improve even more and i'll just get really zeroed in and focused on what we're really meant to be doing and again it's just to just to bless you guys you know and last week when I shared, we spoke about, <coughs> excuse me, we spoke about condemnation, um, about how this aged woman in the body of Christ came to me, a very good friend, and um, like I said, you sit up and take notice when someone like that says something, but she said, you know, I, I really feel just now there's this condemnation in the body of Christ that, you know, a lot of Christians are feeling a bit black, a bit condemned by God. And in the last prayer, in the beginning, hopefully I shared that God condemning you if you've put your faith in Christ, God condemning you is a scriptural impossibility. Therefore, it is a godly impossibility. You can't be under condemnation as a believer. So that condemnation will either come from your own flesh or from the enemy. You know, and that's that's just the way that it works. So instead of sort of moving on to some sort of new subject, I really feel just to stay on that particular point and really pray through it, even just for five, ten minutes, you know. But I really hope you enjoy, especially if it's in three months' time or six months' time, you know. I just hope you really enjoy it. hope you're really blessed by it. So, guys, let's come before the Lord. Hopefully you've got a nice quiet place or can be in a nice quiet place in your headphones or, you know, just whatever. And again, it just doesn't matter whether it's you listen to this today or in six months' time. It makes absolutely no difference. So let's come before him, you guys. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. Lord, I come before you today as a petition to my dear brothers and sisters online here, Lord God, asking you and knowing that I can't bless them, that only you can do that. Knowing that they would do, ask the same thing if they could. For me, that you'd bless us, Lord, that you'd come upon us. I know that my feelings towards our brothers and sisters, Lord God, is but a shadow compared to yours. And your desire for them to be in the light. 
And Lord, we know that we can be so easily taken down by darkness and condemnation that's not of you. And teach us again, Lord God, that this is scripturally impossible. It's impossible by your nature for you to be looking down upon a Christian who's put their faith in you with condemnation. Bless you, Lord. I bless you, former brothers and sisters, Lord. I bless you, Lord, I just to ask you to come upon them, Lord, wherever they may be just now. Letting them know that it's okay. That everything's going to be okay. Your word teaches us so clearly, Lord, that there's no variableness in you. That your feelings towards us never change from day to day. Regardless of our state, where we're at, our situation. You never change your thoughts towards us, Lord. That you think so many good thoughts towards us, even when we don't deserve it. Remind us that condemnation is not you. Remind us that Jesus was the one that was condemned for us. Bless them, Lord. Come upon them. Come upon me, Lord. Come upon us. And I look to you as well, Lord, you know, in my weakened state, my emotional state, my mental state, and my spiritual state that I'm the weak one just now. And I know that any brother or sister out there would pray for me, would ask that I be blessed, that you'd lift me up. And I need it too, Lord. I need I need to be lifted up. Just thank you, Lord. I come before you know we need you so much, Lord. they'd pray the same thing for me come upon them Lord we need you so much just to know that you're that great loving father Lord God and that your mercy always overrules judgement that you know our state you know who we are I just thank you so much for that Lord that there's no variableness in you at all Regardless of our mood and from day to day that nothing changes in your mind bless you Lord bless my brothers and sisters Lord bless them come upon them Lord come upon them in such that gentle way that reassuring way that even your great and mighty hand has got the lightest touch bless you Lord Lord I realise this has just been a short prayer today I know that you'll bless people through it, I know that you'll bless through just this situation of us coming together and looking to you you're such a great God Lord, thank you so much for who you are thank you so much come upon them brothers and sisters Lord come upon them come upon them Lord God In Jesus name in Jesus name amen you guys I hope you have a great week and um, you'll know I'll be praying for you in Jesus name amen <laughs>